Welcome to the University of Chicago Center in Delhi. It's a great space, isn't it? Thank you for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this, this wonderful facility. Whether you're a student, a member of our faculty, an alum, a partner, a friend, a visitor, we hope you feel right at home. I'd also like to welcome friends and colleagues joining via the live webcast early in the morning in Chicago or at our university centers in Paris and Beijing and elsewhere around the world. Before we begin the formal program this afternoon, please join me in welcoming President Robert J. Zimmer for a few opening remarks. Thank you, Ian. And uh, again, let me add my welcome to that of Ian to uh, the University of Chicago Center in Delhi. Uh, we take great pride in this facility uh, and in the commitment that it represents to collaboration in India and in Asia more generally and to the university's larger global engagement. Uh, from its inception in 1890, the University of Chicago has engendered an environment uh, where scholars come together to freely pursue questions of great importance, where research and innovation transcend conventional boundaries, and where students are educated in a spirit of open and rigorous inquiry. Part of the University of Chicago's distinctive culture is fostering collaboration. Scholars throughout the university's history have addressed significant challenges of their times together with scholars from other fields and other places. Our faculty and students work and have worked in many countries around the world, and students and scholars from around the world are an important part of the campus life in Chicago. For more than a century, India has been a key partner and location for these collaborations. Uh, this center in Delhi will support and expand research opportunities for University of Chicago faculty and student research, education, and collaboration with Indian and South Asian universities and other institutions. It will serve scholars at all levels and across all disciplines. Our center will serve as a home for our alumni who live, work, or travel in the region, as well as for students, parents, and other members of our community. Now we're going to uh, begin our formal ceremony uh, shortly, but first I would like to thank a number of people who have contributed to the launch of this center, and in many cases uh, contributed is an understatement, uh, because the center would not have been possible uh, without their work. This has been a complex project with many people involved, and there are uh, quite a number of people without whom uh, we would not be standing here today. Uh, I'd like to begin uh, by inviting, uh, uh, well, first by mentioning uh, the uh, Center and Delhi Faculty Steering Committee. Uh, they have played a fundamental role in setting the course for this entire enterprise. Uh, they have brought an enormous uh, degree of energy to this and the animation that will take place in the center by the faculty of the University of Chicago uh, is really represented by this group that did such, uh, such an extraordinary job in um, in conceiving and articulating what this center uh, should be about. So I'm going to read their names, and when I'm done, I just ask them to come forward because I do want to uh, take a photograph to um, actually uh, memorialize and mark the work that this uh, group did, which, as I say, has been invaluable uh, to this um, center. Uh, Marion Bertrand from the Booth School of Business, uh, Dipesh Chakrabarty from History and South Asian Languages and Civilizations, uh, Robert Chaskin from the School of Social Services Administration, uh, Leela Gandhi, who I believe is uh, not here today, uh, from English, uh, Yunki Kim from Physics Department, uh, William Mozzarella from Anthropology, uh, Martha Nussbaum from the Law School and the Department of Philosophy, John Schneider from Medicine and Health Studies, Gary Tubb from South Asian Languages and Civilizations, also, as you know, the faculty director of the center in Delhi, and also not here today is uh, Peter Littlewood, who has just been named the uh, director of Argonne National Laboratory. So I just ask this group to uh, come forward and uh, please recognize them. OK, 
Okay, thank you. I, I do want to say one word while everybody's taking their seat about uh, Depeche Chakrabarti in particular. Depeche was the chair of this committee. And as, uh, as you can see, this is a committee that uh, comes from across the university. So being the chair of such a committee requires, uh, let me say, a particular skill and a particular touch uh, in order to have uh, a, a deeply coherent and unified uh, view come out in a, uh, in a recommendation. Uh, Depeche did a wonderful and masterful uh, job of this, and we all owe Depeche in particular. But... Uh, now, there are a number of, uh, of administrative leaders, uh, in particular officers of the university, uh, who together with their staffs have been mostly, uh, most closely involved in the planning, building, and supporting uh, of this center. Uh, and I'd like to uh, recognize them uh, here now. Executive uh, Vice President David Green, Executive Vice President for Administration and Chief Financial Officer Nim Chanaya, Incoming Executive Vice President David Fithian, uh, Vice President for Alumni Relations and Development Ken Minotti, Vice President and General Counsel Beth Harris, and Vice President for Global Engagement Ian Solomon. Uh, yeah. So as I've said uh, more than once, and I think you're getting the idea by now, this was a complicated project. Uh, and required uh, not just the work of these individuals uh, and their staffs, but required a degree of, uh, of integration, uh, coordination, and uh, remarkable determination. And that, all of those things were provided by David Green, who I particularly want uh, to recognize. Uh, there were moments in this process when uh, many might have faltered, uh, but David never let anybody falter ever for one minute. Uh, so uh, we are standing here today because of David Green's not just work, but determination. Uh, I'd like to recognize um, uh, our deans uh, who played a uh, crucial role, obviously, in all of the uh, academic leadership issues uh, for the university. Uh, this has been uh, the case in the entire project around global engagement as a whole. Uh, we're happy to have three deans uh, with us uh, for this uh, opening. Uh, Sunil Kumar, Dean of the Booth School of Business, Martha Roth, uh, Dean of the Humanities Division, and Mario Small, Dean of the Division of Social Sciences. Uh, last night at dinner where I think most of you were probably, I know not all of you, but most of you, I did have a chance to acknowledge a number of people who had made uh, key financial contributions uh, that, uh, that enabled the development of this center. I want to mention uh, just three of them uh, again here uh, today. Three have been uh, really extraordinary uh, in their uh, support. Uh, Anapoma and Guru Ramakrishnan. Uh, Neil Ambury and Jerry Rao, and Suslan Energy, so thank you. <laughs> and finally, before we begin the ceremony, uh, I want to uh, acknowledge members of the Board of Trustees of the University of Chicago. Uh, this board has been absolutely steadfast in their commitment of, uh, of the university's work in, in global engagement. Uh, it's been steadfast in its commitment to this uh, center. And, uh, and again, this is a group whose, uh, whose commitment uh, to this work has been absolutely essential in enabling us to go forward with it. So I want to express my appreciation uh, to the board uh, as a whole for that commitment uh, and for their constancy of, of purpose and of uh, being willing to see uh, difficult things through. And uh, uh, there are uh, five board members who are uh, here today that I want to uh, recognize. Andy Alper, who is the chair of the board, who you heard from last night, and you will see again in a moment. Uh, Tom Cole, 
uh, Mary Lou Gorno, uh, Dennis Keller, and Mike Klingensmith. So thank you. Now that was just the introduction to the ceremony. <laughs> All right, we now have the ceremony. Uh, so uh, we are going to begin a uh, formal ceremony. We have uh, special guests who are here for uh, the ceremonial lighting of this uh, lamp, uh, followed by a uh, ribbon cutting. And I'm going to introduce uh, our special guests uh, one by one and ask them to come forward. Uh, first is the Honorable Nancy J. Powell, United States Ambassador to India. Sam Petroda, advisor on public information, infrastructure, and innovations from the National Innovation Council, <laughs> Government of India. Uh, Mukta Tomar, Joint Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, the Government of India. And I will add former Consul General uh, in Chicago. Uh, uh, Andy Alper, Chair of the University of Chicago Board of Trustees. Uh, Eric Isaacs, for a few more days, Director of Argonne National Laboratory, but Provost Designate of the University. Uh, Gary Tubb, Faculty Director of the Center in Delhi. Uh, Jerry Rao, Chairman of the Value and Budget Housing Corporation. And Pyle Chala, President of the University of Chicago Alumni Club of Delhi. Okay, and with that, we will, uh, the ambassador will uh, begin and we will in sequence light this lamp. So it is a particular uh, honor to have with us today Ambassador Powell. In 2012, uh, President Barack Obama appointed her as United States Ambassador to India. Uh, prior to that, Ambassador Powell, Powell was Director General of the Foreign Service and uh, Director of Human Resources. She's also served as United States Ambassador to Nepal, Pakistan, 
Ghana and Uganda. Uh, Ambassador Powell, thank you so much for joining us here today. Namaste, assalamu alaikum, and good afternoon to all of you. It is an honor for me to be with you, all of you today to participate in this ribbon cutting ceremony of the University of Chicago Center in Delhi. I know this has been a labor of love for many of you in this room who have been working for years to see its grand opening. I congratulate all of you and thank you for your dedication and for the hard work. You often hear the U.S. Embassy speak about the U.S.-India relationship and partnership in terms of trade, investment, security. As a former teacher before I joined the Foreign Service, one issue that I'm passionate about and which is also an important part of our partnership is education. The United States and India have a shared belief that a quality education for all citizens is a key to a country's long-term growth and overall well-being. This is why Americans and Indians are working together on so many in education initiatives and why the two governments have a higher education dialogue. Collaborating on such programs as the Obama Singh Knowledge Initiative for the 21st century, the Fulbright Nehru Academic Exchanges, and the India Support for Teacher Education Project, among others. Each year, we are expanding the number of university ties we have in India. I'm proud to note that at this moment, almost 100,000 Indian students are studying at American colleges and universities. Only China has more students in the United States than India. But we're seeing an increase in both student visa applications, the number of Indians taking American standardized tests, and all of those point to a big increase in the Indian numbers, which we're very, very pleased about. We all know that we can do more, including right here in India. We need more American students that can speak Hindi or other Indian languages. We need more American businessmen and women who understand the complex, complex business environment here. We need more American researchers and faculty to partner with the brightest minds of India. We need more interns that can function in both American and Indian offices. This is exactly where the University of Chicago comes in. This space will enhance and increase scholarship and collaboration between American and Indian scholars, policymakers, and business leaders. Your presence in Delhi underscores the very strong international interest of our top American universities, and we welcome you to this great city. Again, my thanks to all of you who, through your vision, your efforts, and your perseverance, have made this office a reality. I am certain that the university's presence here is going to bear many, many fruits. I already saw the uh, impact of one. My seatmate on Tuesday night on the plane from Newark was one of your participants who was working very, very hard on his presentation <laughs> while I was sleeping. <laughs> I had a chance to look at the program for the weekend. It is an example of the wide spectrum in which America and India are engaged. And to bring this level of expertise and experience from both our Indian and American colleagues is truly going to be a unique opportunity for Delhi and for Chicago. I thank you very, very much for your efforts. Okay, now I'd uh, invite uh, all our guests to come forward for the ribbon cutting. Yeah. Between. But where do you cut it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't sit in the front row if I were to get that. 
I'd like to see that. All right, where is Ian? <laughs> On the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, with, with this ribbon cutting, we now uh, declare the University of Chicago Center in Delhi open. I keep it. And uh, I, I know many of you have uh, some champagne. I, I would just like to uh, offer a toast. Uh, to all of those who are going to work here and the wonderful work that's going to be done in this center. Yeah. 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 Yeah.